this new segment. So re- react to this. It's Scenario. Okay. It's a situation. Scenario situation, right? Mm-hmm. Or is it a situation scenario? I've written down situation scenario. Oh, disparity. Uh, we have a disparity here. I wish we had a third party to vote. That's where you come in. You put down the audience, whether it's a scenario situation or a situation scenario. Let's wait. <laughs> and we have no views. Damn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, then. Um, I guess it's a deadlock at zero. So you got a scenario or a situation? or? Uh... I did. It's fairly boring because I think about this one often, but I'll give it to you. Yeah, all right. Because you might never think about it, or it's like, I think about this all the time. I, uh, I think about stupid. everything all the time. It never stops. So go. Hit me with it. Even the not answer to this question? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Let's say there's a solar flare while you're at work. Okay. And all electronics stop. Yep. GPS, cell phones, uh, traffic lights, your car won't start. Okay. Uh, everything turns off. Do you, do you try and walk home? You got to steal a bike, obviously. And I'm pretty sure there's a bike. Do you have bikes near your work? There's a lot of foreigners People? who bike <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, the unbanners did it, folks. <laughs> We just insulted foreigners. They're always <laughs> biking, aren't they, Dan? Yeah. Well, I think the Europeans like to bike, but these foreigners are not so. the Europeans. Um. <laughs> anyway, someone somewhere is biking. Yeah. Yes. This is a rickshaw joke, is it? Like, uh, that would be offensive. <laughs> That'd be great. That. <laughs> you steal a rickshaw? You steal a rickshaw and then make somebody take you on that location? <laughs> I was thinking you were going to take them. Like, you're running with it for some reason? <laughs> like you couldn't just run regular. You, could, you, had you couldn't keep people off the rickshaw. Is the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Get off! I'm not taking there. Yeah. Would you wear the triangle hat? Huh. That would be appropriate, Absolutely. wouldn't it? I don't know if it comes with a hat. I'm not going to search out the, the hat. <laughs> that stays with the rickshaw. You think they bring that inside with them? You might actually welcome people if you could balance it in such a way that you could run and then have them push back, and you could just float in the air with the you know, you'd be floating like ahead of the rickshaw. Sounds a little bit like my argument that in the three-wheel stroller where I push my son, it's actually easier to push him and run because my hands never go down and I'm always falling forward and I just keep rolling, so I'm not actually running. Hmm. Because, you know, because I'm not running. I'm just leaning forward on his stroller and it just keeps going so forward. Just, uh, it lessens your, your impact maybe a little bit? I think of that sometimes, but I'm pretty sure there's an anti-science for that. I hope so. You should record yourself running with it and upload it prove this wrong prove me wrong mythbusters <laughs> they're all gonna have babies at age like 61 and 58 the two bearded guys <laughs> just to prove a point <laughs> just to push a baby they couldn't borrow one <laughs> it was in the bylaws or something or they weren't allowed near kids i'm not saying about, about the mythbusters i'm not saying anything about them <laughs> that's terrible maybe they're not we're allowed near insult everybody by the time we're done with this <laughs> podcast we sure don't hand it. <laughs> yeah. That's nope. Nope. Sure. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, as far as getting... But how would you... You're taking a bike? How long would it take you, honestly? It's like 18 miles or something, so it would take me at least, what, four four hours, maybe? At least, I feel like, because you're going around cars in the middle of the road, like, what is this guy doing here? And you said it every, every car. Like, what is this guy doing here? What is this guy doing here? And <laughs> really, there's like a solar flare that ruined all the cars. The problem is, now, I think people would be so nervous that you'd have to shelter, right? So you might, you, you probably get a group of people that are trying to get you to stay at work, and you'd be well, like, "Fuck, fuck you, fuck you guys! I don't want to stay near you." Right, <laughs> right. But, but are your chances of survival greatest in a large group or no? I don't think so, because you run out of food, and then all yeah. of your friends, Chaos. friends, turn into enemies. Yes, <laughs> they, it's true. But but isn't that how civilization is based? The reason you don't live alone is because uh, you can delineate responsibilities and, like, you know, someone's in charge sure. of food, someone's in charge of shelter, someone's in charge of this. And I, I guess <laughs> making, making all these delineations in six hours is a little it's different difficult. than over 6,000 years. You're the right. farmer. <laughs> You're the politician. <laughs> you. You need to be our gladiator. <laughs> I, I can barely walk. Battle with their what gladiator. Battle with their yeah, gladiator. Yeah. <laughs> The other team has <laughs> They're running computer. down the office hallways to prove who gets the food. Jousting. Jousting. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just imagine, like, you know, there's that one movie about 
the soccer team that crashes on like one of the mountains. Have you seen this one? It's called I think it's called Airplane. It might be called Airplane. Yeah. That's yeah, also that's a comedy. comedy. But there's, I think there's another yeah, yeah, one. Leslie Nielsen. Called... It's really funny. Yeah, <laughs> not this one. There's one that they crash and then they have to decide who gets eaten. No, first. no. He says, "And stop calling me Shirley." I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. Is there kind of? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So like, they, wait, they eat each other? Yeah. That's pretty vicious. Yeah, and they're like frozen bodies, so they have a scene where the guy's like shaving off a thigh, so he can mm-hmm. eat it, and then he runs out of human, dead human to eat, and they're like all looking at each other. Oh, they ate the dead ones mm-hmm. first. That makes sense. Okay. I've heard this. And it's a cold environment, so I guess if it was a hot environment, that would make it much different. Right. No one wants to eat something stinky. (laughs) And that only lasts like a couple days until you're like, let's throw this out. Let's get a new one. I guess. Hmm. So I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, wait, I still don't even know. Are you going home? I'm going home. And then what? Buckling down until stuff comes back on, just praying. I'm getting near my food source, which is my pantry, because I know there's food there. And your woman? And my woman. Well, she's not going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought of this. So walk to I... her first. Oh, crap. So in this scenario, I always think I'm headed back home. I'm the protector. Or I'm the whatever. Mm-hmm. Let's say I was 32 and hated my life. And this happened. And I was like, They'll never find you again. I just walked in the wrong way. I just started walking the other way. <laughs> so I live my thumbs, flicking quarters in the air and smiling like, ha ha, this is great. That's where you fashion like a, a bow or like a, a, a Well, whatever. You start a, start a new life. You tell people you have a different name. I mean, by the time Electric runs back up, like, our, it's got to ruin some databases, right? Uh, so well, that's numbers? true. I don't know. Right? Some, dude, how many people would just slip into the ether and all of a sudden... You don't have time to re-verify everyone. You're like, okay, we have to take him at his word. He's so-and-so. What skills does he have? He has a job here. So you think boom, the government I'll stores work. your paperwork somewhere where they're like, okay, we have to go through all this... 220 million <laughs> records now. <laughs> and no, and they, as... It's just you in front of the desk, and they're like, <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah. They go, nope. Oh. <laughs> through each one. <laughs> nope. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Well, isn't that the... um? Live free or die hard premise. All um, our social security information is stored in a super cool database in a Eastern PA, or I, I just say Eastern PA all the time to involve my state. But yeah, I don't. Was there actually a plot to that movie? I don't. I don't remember. Yeah, there um, was. <laughs> yeah, the dude. I'm forgetting everybody's name. The dude, the skinny dude, the nerdy dude. Yeah, the nerdy dude who, who disappeared. He disappeared. Yeah, right. yeah to five years ago. Yeah, he he did. That's interesting. He probably had it. Divorce and a baby or something. Jeez. It's just an assumption. We'll look if up. If you're rich, you can do whatever. I mean, you can have that is time. true. You could disappear and do whatever you want, which sounds pretty. He good. burned down on Hollywood. Ooh, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Maybe he did. Maybe he did. But yeah, he um. The whole point is the bad guy is um. He acts like he's blowing on Washington D.C., but really he's going to this site offshore and just deleting everyone's social security number and everything and encrypting it all into. Uh, a pocket piece, and he's going to sell it to somebody or something. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that really is a this draw. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is really happening. It's like a rivet audiences. It's like folks at home. This is really happening. <laughs> yeah. Um, scream and run out your door immediately if you want to live. 